In this project I will show you how we can use custom fonts from Google Fonts. So something like this. First we will have to uh, download a couple of fonts from Google Fonts. So the one I'll download is uh, called Orbitron. Click on it and then you can see uh, a couple of examples of what the font will look like. To download it you'll need to click on get font and then download. Now that I've downloaded the uh, font you can see the font files here. This one true type font file. We will go to our project on Ease Studio. I just created an empty project. So first of all we will need to go to fonts. Click on add give it a name uh, Orbitron and underscore the size for example if it's gonna be going to be 20 pixel I'll also put 20 here. The bits per pixel we have a couple of options 1, 4, 8. 2 requires uh, other things like encoding so we won't use this. 1 is like low quality 4 is like quite good quality so we'll use 4 and then the pixel size as we said it will be 20 so set to 20 the range, range will leave it as the default because that just covers uh, all the nu numbers, alphabets and the most used uh, uh, characters and uh, symbols will leave it empty now click on and upload the Orbitron font. Go to the Orbitron folder and upload the font. Click OK. Now that we've added the font to the eStudio you can see on the left side here all the characters that are in the range so the numbers alphabets etc. Now I will show you how we, we can use the new font. First create a oh, label. The Change the text to like anything you want. Uh, instead of the content we'll go by pixel so we can extend the label. Uh, by default we have the LVGL fonts which you can see in the default text font so if you click on that you can see that our new font also has been added if you select all the default one 20 it looks okay but if you use the new one it looks uh, much more nicer. Now I will show you how we can create uh, the Orbitron fonts for larger or smaller size. All we have to do is click on add, give it a name and uh, let's say we want to create one for 30 so bits per pixel I leave it at 4 you can change it to 1 if you want or 8 oh, change the actual oh, size font size to 30 leave this you can play around with this but I leave it as default now just go and select the Orbitron font file click OK see they're larger now we'll add one more for 40 same thing give it a name so we can the good thing is if you if you add this you know what size it is automatically but if you give it something like large you don't know what size it is so 40 
I'll change that to 40. Actually, this time I'll change this to 8 and see what happens. Oh, yes, at the font file. Okay. Now we got three different orb size Orbitron fonts. Let's create two more labels so we can use them. this and paste it so I don't have to recreate everything again and I'll name this one 30 and this one is 40 for the label Orbitron 30 I will go and go to style main default text font and select Orbitron 30 and for the 41 so you don't have to move do if you if it's already selected if you go to the next label it automatically highlights the text area change to 40. oh okay uh, i'll change the uh change change the bits per pixel To four. There you go, four. Looks like uh, selecting bits per pixel eight requires additional stuff. So uh, yeah, that's it. That's how you uh, use your own uh, customized font. I added two more buttons to show the difference between uh, default and custom fonts. Now that the GUI is ready, we need to generate the C file, so we save and build. Once the build is complete, we copy the C files over to our, to our Arduino sketch folder. Now if you go to your Arduino sketch, you'll see all the files have been loaded. The only thing we need to change is that on in the font font C files we have uh, this automated uh, generated code. We need to replace it with uh, just this. So I'll do that to all three files. Now I've done it. Nothing needs to change in the actual sketch. Just template. Now if you click uh, upload, you'll see the final result.